No actual climate leader would vote in favor of this. All right, that was Sonia, the leader of the Green Party of British Columbia. In that video, she's complaining about these natural gas pipelines to export Canadian natural gas to the rest of the world. She's complaining about the amount of emissions that natural gas in British Columbia is going to create. This is BC's current emissions. This is our emissions goal in the future. And this is the amount of emissions that natural gas production in British Columbia is going to create. Go watch the video. She's saying how she can't believe that anybody that cares about the environment can approve this project. I think the Green Party forgets that the earth is larger than just British Columbia, though, in terms of emissions. We got to think about where that natural gas is going. It's going to China to shut down coal powered power plants and replace them with natural gas. So why don't we just have a look at the emission level between coal and natural gas. As you can see, natural gas is a third of the emissions of coal. Plus with nitrous oxide, sulfuric dioxide, carbon dioxide, it is substantially lower. When it comes to SO2, it's basically negligible in production. Oh, and if we look at mercury levels, it's none. Remember, BC is warning people about mercury levels in fish in our waters. But that's not a greenhouse gas emission. Right here, we want to get from 64 megatons down to 40 megatons. And they're saying that if we do this in 2030, 9 megatons is going to be just the natural gas production that we're shipping over. You just look at this though, 9 megatons, you figure though the equivalent coal powered production consumption would be around 27 megatons, which means that we're taking out 19 megatons of CO2 emissions just by shipping this natural gas to shut down the coal. That's a net reduction in CO2 in the global space. The planet is more than just British Columbia. We can't look at a global problem locally. If we can export natural gas to China who can shut down coal production, we can therefore reduce total global levels. And I feel like that's the goal, not just BC levels. We gotta think globally here and what's best for the whole planet. Have a look at CO2 levels. That's 7.3 gigatons, 7,300 megatons of coal CO2 that could be replaced with natural gas from British Columbia, generating revenue for the province and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Why aren't we doing this? If you say, I don't care about CO2 emissions globally, I only care about what we consume, I only care about British Columbia, let's look at the other effects rather than just global CO2 reduction with natural gas. Mainly these bottom three, nitrous oxide, sulfuric dioxide, mercury. Think about it this way. All those emissions are going up from exhaust pipes in China. Those emissions enter the jet stream where it travels across the Pacific. And then that jet stream comes into Canada. It travels from east to west. And as it travels across the Pacific, it hits the mountains of British Columbia where it falls as rain on the west coast. That sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, creates acid rain on the coast of British Columbia, poisoning our water systems. As a climate activist, you would have to be nuts not to want these natural gas pipelines.